This video is mainly for educational purpose and documentary to show you what happened in most butchery markets in Nigeria and this popular market is called Karo Market located in Abuja and I went to the part called Abatoa where all sorts of our meat are processed like cow, goat, ram, camel, donkeys, just name it everything is being prepared so my friend and i decided to buy this goat so that we can share it for ourselves and uh we decided to just document it and uh honestly this is exclusive because they do not allow cameras there so we had to buy a ram and the ram cost about uh, seventeen thousand to eighty thousand naira and that is about we negotiated eighty thousand naira for the ram i think that's about ninety dollar and after that we also paid also extra money as well to the person who of course slaughtered the ram we paid 200 naira for that and that is about less than a dollar and also to the person who roasted the ram we paid about a 500 1000 naira for roasting the ram and also we paid extra money to the people who also butchered the ram as well and they took about 5000 naira for butchering the ram and also we paid 1,000 Naira to the union. The union are those people in charge of the place. So whenever you buy a cow or a ram, if you buy a cow, you pay 3,000 Naira. But if you buy a ram, you pay 1,000 Naira. So apparently, they keep the place really, really clean. So we came together to pay for all those things. I think, as, uh, I, think I personally paid close to uh, 35,000 Naira. Uh, that is uh, below $50. No, and uh, my friends also contributed as well for us to pay for those bills. Please, what I note here is that the place is extremely dirty. If you cannot bear the odor or bear the sight, please do not come here. So that is the guy roasting our our ram there. You know, they just make this fire. They put tire and uh, wood, so they were roasting it and i just decide to just look around a little bit you see those things on this uh those things here beside on the uh, uh, on the floor all those things are cow cow um cow blood nothing go to goes to waste they see pack cow blood they process it and uh they also sell it to all those uh, farmers as well most especially fish farmers apparently there's a way they process it and the maggot will start coming out of it and they use the maggot to feed to feed the fishes please like i've noted before do not come here if you cannot withstand the sight extremely dirty i don't know why abattoir need to be this dirty why those women here are the one who used to do laundry for those men the the busharas and uh, the laborers so you uh, they usually pay them and they do laundry for them and uh, this inside this place is where they busher cows but outside here is where they busher ram of course you can see the guy pouring the cow blood that is cow blood goat blood mixed together they process there's a way they process it and uh, they dry it and fill it in a bag then sell it to all those fisher people it, that can be used as a source of manure as well and after the guy roasted the cow of course he took the cow into that very very dirty water there was nothing i could do about it because it's the normal process i shouted and shouted i told them no you cannot pull my my ram inside that dirty water but they said that is the process that there's no any other water available this water is so dirty guys so so dirty you almost made like i almost couldn't bear it anymore that is the place that is the process so if you go to abattoir to buy your meat go to nigeria are uh, places to buy your meat even those shopping malls honestly and they usually buy meat in nigeria market please just know that this is the same water the same dirty water they use in every abattoir in nigeria this is the same process you know i will also try to visit another abattoir just to confirm that yes this is the same process they use in every abattoir 
that water was so dirty guys i couldn't bear it in fact i couldn't imagine my ram that i bought they were actually washing that ram in that dirty water it was so dirty i believe they have possibly washed more than uh, a thousand ram in that water already and they do change it oh they change it every day they change it every day but you know they put their own their feet and everything inside please wash your meat properly if you go to the market to buy your meat please make sure you wash it properly and one of the crazy stuff i see is about this guy walking down there that guy that guy was picking meat picking uh, intestines uh looking for intestines on the floor to pick apparently after picking this intestines he he, he sell it to uh to people drinking you know those beer papa beer parlors and everything it was so disgusting to watch guys please be careful while you eat in those local restaurants in most rest in many restaurants please and th th that's our ram there it has been skinned washed and uh, is ready to push it it's ready to push it No, cut, cut them all. Yeah. No, peace is out. No, I'm going to grab the BNC. I don't want to move them all. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. Like <laughs> they butcher everything on the floor they spit on the floor they walk on the floor they do everything on the floor they put the tester on the floor there was nothing i could do i shouted and quarrel and quarrel they say oh god that is the process oh that is how we do it over here please eh? what i will advise you to do eh? if there is a way that you can just buy the goat and if you have a place in your house you can process the meat just pay one of them take that person to your house and the person will process everything for you using clean water nice floor everything there please because if you don't have the heart if you do not have the heart then do not come here to process your meat because i do not think after watching this video most of you want to buy meat from market again or from abattoir everything good there and let me tell you something those waste those food the uh the waste there from uh the goat do not also go to waste and look at the guy also that i told you about picking intestines he went there to wash all the intestines there and he said and he will go home process it for someone to eat they used to sell this kind kind. They have a place of selling this kind kind in the whole local area. So they process everything and also sell them. And if you are not careful, you that go about visiting your friend in those old uh, in those local area, and you just go to one beer parlor to drink uh, beer, and you ask ask for a pepper soup, pepper soup meat. <laughs> and this is what you are eating. This is exactly what they are feeding you nothing else yeah. nothing else so we were done and uh, we decided to proceed to where they are going to butcher the meat so and uh, i paid this woman also they paid this woman the sum of 500 naira to carry that meat to the inside the market yes. Oh, 
Where are you going to the But you don't wait till you are all you do. You know, you'll be all there with me. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys learned one or two things from our own uh, butchering uh, market in Nigeria. But I believe there are some other that are a little bit uh, cleaner and better than this also in Nigeria as well. So I hope to visit another place next time. Well, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the video guys. Bye.